Hi, Lee. Hey. It's been a little while, but how are you? It's, I, you know, I'm much better than my migraine yesterday. Which is good. You know, which is good. We, we don't like migraines here, so. No, we are a my, an anti-migraine zone. Yeah, pretty much. So, no migraines is where we want to be. True. True story. Absolutely. Our- do you have some progress? Because I have a minor amount of progress. I have progress. Um, I have been working on another blanket. Blanket today. Mm. Yeah. Um, I've been. Cool. Thank you. But I've been actually using like the big old Karen cake, so, which is nice. I'm using. Like, I like cake. Yeah, they're like they're really cool. I love the fact that they come out with different sizes. Like they're they're, they have like the normal ones, the big like the big cakes. I like the mini ones too, which is kind of cool. I love it. What? Yeah, and I've also been blocking like crazy, and I still have like so much more to block, but slowly but surely I will get there. You know, it is a journey. I still have to block my fiance's sweater, which I made him when he was still my boyfriend, and I have blocked it one time in between. <laughs> It's been idle for about six months, but it's hot, so, you know, I feel like he won't need it for a couple of months. No, you have a little bit of time. Maybe by the wedding. Yeah, oh, that would be lovely. I think he should wear it in some wedding photos. So there's that. And I did some more spinning. Ooh, let's so, see some spinning. All that remains of my fiber bump, so, like, I would say there's one-sixth, one-eighth left. That's good. Of this guy. Ooh, I like how it's coming out. So this is the second uh, bobbin, and I forgot to take the first bobbin off, and I don't want to get up, so. <laughs> That's fine. We only need one. We only need one. It will be a two-ply. Okay. Oh, and if we hang out during your trip, I can give you your yarn in person, because I have been too lazy to send it. If nothing else, maybe that's why we should meet up, just so that I can get my yarn. I, I do think it's a fabulous idea. Yeah, like me and Jason are coming out to your area of the woods. We're going to try and meet up, so. It's going to... Hold me hostage. That was my whole plan of not making time to go to the post office. Well, let's go with that, because that sounds a lot better. It's exciting. And you are uh, going to big event, right? Yeah, we're going to VidCon, so if anyone sees us there, you'll be able to... Say hi and meet up with us. That is very exciting, and they're both quite fun. Yeah. I highly recommend. Yes, I recommend come say hi, um, and that way you'll see me knit in real time. I like it. I did a little bit of a yarn declutter. So That's good. I had a bunch of skeins that were sock yarn and in the red color family, and my soon-to-be mother-in-law loves red and has gotten very obsessed with sock knitting. So I declutter these skeins to her. They're perfectly good skeins. I just have not been knitting socks for a while, and I don't know why I bought a bunch of red when it's a color I don't really wear. That's all good. I mean, I've been good about decluttering, too. It's just like I've been slowly knitting and not buying. So, like, a lot of my shelves, um, you can't really see it right now, but um, I don't really have as much on top of my shelves. Everything is kind of either hanging up or in my shelves, so it's getting... I feel like I'm making progress. Um, that's also why I chose to use like the Karen cakes as my next project was just so that to get something else off my shelf. So um. yeah, no, I I get that. I'm gonna go through a great spin down to see if I can reduce the volume of the, my collection and the spinning fiber takes up a lot more space. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Like it's a little bit more compact afterwards. <laughs> Yeah, so I want to keep spinning and uh, maybe spin uh, all of this down into, like, enough for a big blanket that's just, like, my spinning journey. Oh, nice. I mean, I know you were working on a blanket a little while ago. Are you still working on that? Yeah, well, what happened is I really like what I put together, but I don't want to make it bigger, and it was limited edition. So I've decided that it will be used as a baby blanket for when I eventually have a baby. That, that's good. That's pre-planning. It is. It has become pre-planning. So I told my fiance that it'll be the baby blanket. And we're both on the same page very much wanting children, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> that's good. That sounds like... 
that is not big enough for adult humans, but for a baby human, it would be more than enough. Exactly. So I, I like this plan. Like, that sounds like a per per perfectly reasonable thing to me, so. <laughs> yeah, I really love how it finished up, and it's like 36 by 48 inches, and I think that is probably standard baby blanket size, so. Yeah. So, a kid costs like a three hundred thousand dollars over the course of their life but i'm already saving money in the blanket front so i feel like i'll come out even there we go there we go i know you'll be getting a, another blanket from me once you oh get... i stand on it <laughs> and on that blanket I, I love the fact that we both accepted that i have no choice it's just kind of like oh yeah the day you find out like i'm just gonna get a text be like hey you owe me a blanket yeah, like, let me reassure you, I want a gender-neutral blanket for this adorable child that'll be produced, because, you know, that's just how it'll go. Yeah. But you have to promise me you can't tell me within, like, the last, like, week of you being pregnant, so that way I actually have time to make it. I'm quick, but I am not that quick. Let me reassure you that I could tell you as I was going into labor, and you would finish the blanket before I was having <laughs> You know, this mythos of me being that quick with knitting is just getting out of hand. Like, between you and, like, all of our, the rest of my friends uh, is just kind of, is getting out of hand, okay? <laughs> I really look forward to the labor to delivery blanket. I need more time. More time. You know, that's what you smell. <laughs> and I think I'm going to stick with that. <laughs> Well, we have a few years to find out, but I'm very excited by it. Okay. So I'm glad that there's a little bit of time, so maybe I can pre-plan a little bit. I mean, you could, but I think it'd be more fun to wait till the last second. Maybe I'll just, like, mess with you and just, like, have a blanket prepared, and that way, once you, like, tell me, I'm like, done! It would be magical. Oh, God, why am I feeding into this? Well, there you go. I'm hoping by our next podcast that I have this fiber all spun up and I get to show you guys a two-ply skein that I have earmarked for literally nothing. Sounds good. I'll be be working on blocking and this blanket that I started. So, I'll have a nice... I can't blanket next week. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, I think that'll be a good place to stop. I will see you later. Bye. Bye.